everyone, it's Pam from Glam Junk Journals and today I thought I would do a little bit different type of video. Um, I am calling this my antique mall haul. The other day I had to go down into this city for a doctor's appointment and there just happened to be an antique mall in the area so I scheduled some time to stop by there before my appointment and I got to tell you guys I'm so excited to share this with you. I feel like I died and went to vintage antique heaven. It was so much fun. So let me get right into it. I wanted to just share this with some of my crafty friends who I know will understand this kind of stuff because I show my husband this stuff when I come home and he's like, oh, that's great, you know, but it's not really the same kind of enthusiasm. So, okay. Look at these pictures, and these are on the old uh, cardboard. Love that. Just think, these are someone's relatives. I love that. Let me move my light. That's out of the way there. Oh, and look at this lady. You know, ever wonder why they never smile? I don't know. But anyways, these are like on cardboard, so those were fun, 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 fun. And I am addicted, as you guys know. Oh, here's another one. Look at this cute little one. They never smile, though. Isn't that cute? New York Gallery in Reading, Pennsylvania. Love it. Um, so anyways, what was I saying? I am just get so excited just looking at this stuff. Look at all these postcards. I love vintage postcards. And some of them have been written on, and some of them... Um, haven't so those are just really fun and this one uh, antique vendor at the mall had five for six dollars and granted you know I usually go to thrift stores and things like that to find a lot of uh, my ephemera and my vintage items to use in my journals but I would encourage you guys to go to an antique mall near your you know your area because this was like one-stop shopping and although I still will go to thrift stores this is like I found everything in one spot and all the people who own these uh, different booths did all the uh, scouring and shopping for me oh yay sewing Susan eye needles with threader so how cute is that with um, a sewing themed journal couple magazines here. I know you guys are familiar with the work basket and um, some cookbooks here. Look at this. Delicious, delicious frozen dishes from Crosley Electric Refrigerators. And I just love vintage graphics. So look at this one. Oh, look at the cakes. Good house, housekeeping cake book. Love that. So granted, it may be a little more pricey than going to thrift stores, but for the amount of things that I found and treasures, it was well worth it. And, you know, the way I look at it is these vendors are out there trying to make a living and I want to support them in any way I can. So I, um, you know, kind of feel feel justified in that way that I spent a little more than I do at my usual thrift stores. Uh, let's see. These are comic book postcards. And I've never seen these before. I don't know if you guys have seen these. And you know, the amount of work that these vendors have to put in to go out and package everything, find everything, price it. I just, I, I'm, I really appreciate them. So these are really cute, aren't those funny? So, you know, those would be real cute ephemera in a, in a journal there. Okay, let's see what I got. They even had packages of ephemera. I'm like, hey, how cool is that? I mean, before I got into junk journals, I didn't even know what the word ephemera meant, but they've got packages of prepackaged ephemera, yay! Oh, oh, this is so fun, you guys. I can't even believe it. And you know how I like to go to thrift shops and um, find dresses with appliques and all sorts of fancy beading and stuff? There was this one booth that had the appliques already cut out. I'm like, oh, 
this is made for me. Check this out. These are absolutely gorgeous. Look at the colors on that. Oh man, oh man. And I gotta say, you know, these ran about between five and nine dollars a piece, but you know, at a thrift store, I probably would have paid five to nine dollars for the whole dress and then had to cut it up. So that's the way I see it. And look at this gorgeous one, probably off a wedding dress somewhere. Oh, wow. Love that. So I got a bunch of appliques that are going to be just gorgeous. We're not done yet. This is so much fun. Another vendor had a bunch of vintage trims. And you know, you can never have um, too much lace and vintage trim in my mind. So that's going to be fun. A vintage hanky because I'm running out of those. I used all of mine in, um, well, almost all of mine in one of my all fabric journals. And then off to the biggest stuff, you guys. This is so fun. I hope you guys appreciate this kind of stuff and just get as excited as I do about this stuff. It's so fun. And by the way, I was a little bit late to my doctor's appointment because I looked at the time. I'm like, uh oh, I gotta go. And up at the checkout counter, they have to key in each one of these manually, you know, recording the vendor and the price. So that took a little bit. So, but everything worked out fine. This. Look at this book. This is a book on spelling. So it's similar to, I don't know, I think it looks like sort of a um, dictionary, but what great ephemera. And just imagine the people that use this. I just think that that's so fascinating. You know, the way they have their little uh, notes and notations and how they, uh, you know, studied through this. I love that. Very cool. Very cool. And look at this cute little book. I see an altered book in my near future. Geraldine Belinda. I have never seen this, but I fell in love with the cover. Isn't she adorable? This is in pretty rough shape, but you know, I can work with that. So isn't this the cutest thing of life? Ho oh, oh. ho. Oh, I just think this is so much fun. I'm so excited to use that. What does the back say? It doesn't say anything. I thought I saw some writing in it. Okay. And you know what, you guys? I didn't even get through the whole store. <laughs> the whole mall. I didn't even make it through half. I've got to go back. Got to go back. Fun for the little folks. Look at the graphic on the cover of that children's book. Absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous. And you want to talk about vintage. Now, this was expensive. This was, in my opinion, $20. But I have never seen anything quite like this in real life. You know, I've seen it... Um, you know, uh, in pictures, but look at every page has these gorgeous pictures. They're just to die for. They are to die for, and they're already vintaged up. <laughs> Let's see, when was this one? When was this published? I don't know. Let me see. I don't know if it even has it. I don't know, guys. I don't see it on here. It says Esther Silva from Sunday School. Ha! Huh? You guys remember Sunday School? Oh, yeah. Okay, this is going to be cool, too. I don't know if you guys saw a long time ago. Um, I did a uh, 1890s scrapbook. I refurbished it and brought it back to life and added some really cool ephemera. It is on my uh, YouTube and also on my website. This reminds me of something that I am going to do something similar to. This is a ledger and it is leather. And this actually was on sale. Look at the inside of this ledger, you guys. So this is where someone would keep their papers. Ha! And 
is this gorgeous or what? These end papers. Oh man. And oh, just happened to have two little bits of ephemera in there. I don't know where these came from, but aren't those cute? 1956. Oh my goodness. I'm going to have to spend some time refurbishing this and um, it's going to be really fun to do. It says notes and addresses over here and on the inside it's got letters and that kind of stuff. So this is in pretty rough shape. Stay tuned and I'm going to make a cool journal out of that. That's for sure. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, oh, wow. Okay. This caught my eye at another vendor, how to mix colors and materials to use. So this is um, how to paint and just the graphics, the pictures are just fabulous, fabulous. And you know, I've tried my hand at painting, so maybe I will read this before I cut it up. I don't know, but it talks about, you know, the different brush strokes and how to paint people's faces. Beautiful, just beautiful. And look at that. Oh man. So this definitely caught my eye just because of the bright colors. I love that. Love it. Love it. Oh man. Okay. And last but definitely not least some sheet music. Yay! She is the sunshine of Virginia. And just, you know, what always grabs me is the graphics on the front. And I do have um, other vintage music sheets and a couple vintage music books, but just for the, the graphic on the front, the picture is absolutely gorgeous. I love it. Love it love it, love it. So that was my antique mall haul. And do you guys ever feel like you have so many journals in your head and not enough time to make them all? <laughs> I have so many ideas to use to create some uh, future journals. So thank you for uh, watching this video. And I hope you share my enthusiasm for continuing on your thrift store hunting and your antique mall shopping and I will see you in my next video hopefully using some of these cool items I found so have a wonderful day everyone bye